Okay, diggers, I'm at a park uh, where I normally dig up a bunch of dimes, and as you can see here, I've only gotten two dimes at the top there, and uh, six pennies. Uh, I got two clads here on the end, and one Canadian over here on this end, the red one. Um, so, not too many dimes today, and I'm a little bit surprised. I call this dime park because, you know, you can see, uh, like around, this is a concession stand where I'm sitting, getting a little bit of shade. It's 81 degrees out here. And uh, humidity's not too bad, and we've had a little bit of a breeze, so it's been okay, but I've been sweating. Uh, but, unfortunately, the dimes are not showing up. And, uh, you know, I guess that would be a bummer. Let me get this to focus. That would be a bummer if it weren't for the good part of the story. And for the good part of the story, you have to follow me over here. Come on. Come on. Pull yourself over. Come on, pull. Come on, over. Uh, there. Yeah, that's right. Today is quarter day. Uh, and, uh, you know, this park, I've, I've dug a lot of spills in this park. I've, today I got another spill, a couple of quarters in one spill today. So, I'll take it. Happy to get them. Uh, I have dug a few old coins in this park, but never gotten a silver. Still haven't gotten a silver off of my own property. So, that's a little bit frustrating, but I guess, uh, uh, like I've said in past videos, I need to expand my horizons maybe go north or something, I don't know, try to find some older areas where I can find a silver off of my property. And I've only found three silvers as it is. I found a quarter, uh, a Washington, I found a Merc, and then I found a War Nickel. And that's it for silver coins. Now, rings, that's a different story. Uh, I found seven or eight different uh, silver rings, and I found a gold bracelet and a few things like that. But as far as the coins, no luck on silver outside of my property but I'm just happy to be out here today as you can see it's beautiful out here uh, sunny warm and uh, today is August 31st so we won't have too many more days like this falls coming and then you know what right after that so anyway stick with me and if I get something good I'm gonna maybe hunt another 15 20 minutes and then I gotta get going my wife got the day off of work, so I'm going to head home, and we're going to go out and take the dog for a ride. She loves her ride, so we'll get out there and give her a ride, and wish me luck on the rest of this hunt. Hopefully, I'll be getting back to you. Stay tuned. Okay, diggers. I uh, just wanted to show you I got another spill in this park, a three-quarter spill this time, right here in this hole. Got one, two, and then finally pulled out the third one. So a nice three-quarter spill. Uh, just started swinging again. So if I find anything else, I'll get back to you. Okay, diggers. I doubt if you can see it, but out there, be just behind those stands, this thing you see moving on the left-hand side, those are deer. In this area, this small area between a freeway that's over there and a regular road that's over there, we got deer just the other side of those stands out there if I can get a better picture I will alright I'll get back to you by the way that three-quarter spill ended up being a four-quarter spill and I have probably found five or six quarters since then so it is definitely quarter day today unbelievable I'll get back to you Hey diggers, this is the end result of that uh, the dime park hunt. And uh, as you can see, I did start to catch up with the dimes. Uh, I ended up with a little over a dollar in dimes and then a few pennies. Uh, but today was not dime day. Today was quarter day. Four dollars and fifty cents in quarters today. Uh, two different spills. One was uh, a two-quarter spill, and then another was uh, I had three in the same hole, and then one about uh, maybe a foot from that hole. So I want to call it a four-quarter spill. Uh, so at least two spills, and maybe three. I can't remember. I know there was at least two spills. And uh, then I was also able to get this 1956 plain wheat leaf. So. 
there is older stuff in this park uh, also a lot of clad as you can see because of the people that are there from year to year um, if you remember in one of my other hunts I got this this little brown car right here which uh, when I looked it up was from the late 1930s mid to late 30s uh, maybe into early 40s but I'm thinking it's uh, late 30s 38 somewhere in there is when I got that and I dug that in the outfield out there at that park so there are older things in that park but they're a little bit elusive and I've been just using my AT Pro I have not been using my mind lab which I believe does get a little deeper and does find the uh, the older coins better but a hunt like this wouldn't wouldn't be in my opinion very possible for me uh, because I find the coins so quickly with my AT Pro and with the mine lab it's it it takes longer that's just all there is to it for me it takes longer to zero in on the coin uh, find it and dig it up so I've been using my AT Pro most of the summer uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my mine lab whether I'm gonna keep it or sell it or I'm not sure yet but anyway uh, this was a good hunt I mean for just under two hours I would say uh, to get over five dollars I mean between five and six dollars in clad plus one wheat leaf it's pretty good you know I didn't dig up much junk uh, I dug up a few pull tabs and things like that but uh, but not very much most all of it was was coins that you see here and uh, so I, I just want to say it was a successful hunt most of these are copper pennies there's a couple of zincs in there I think right up there at the top but uh, quarter day at the dime park thanks for watching everybody god bless if you haven't subscribed please do so i'll try to get back and subscribe to you happy hunting everybody god bless you stay safe out there and hope you've all been having a great year digging